Hi, this is James and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit me on the cash app. Hit me on the cash app to donate masking tape, acrylic paint, and paint brushes. Yes, you can donate a dollar or 50 cents or whatever you whatever you have. All right? Whatever you have will be appreciated, okay? This is a strange story here. This one is called My Homie His Pants. Okay? You fill in the blanks. Yeah. Well, this was a long time ago. Matter of fact, it was so long ago, I didn't even have a car then, okay? So, me and a friend of mine, me and my friend, my friend didn't have too much game about himself, you know? He didn't have no game at all, you know? So, I uh, took it upon myself to find a girl for him to go out with so we plan a double date all right him and his girl me and mine okay so when i when i planned this date we were going to go downtown okay downtown so he he finally met the girl and they kind of you know hit it off he didn't know how to talk to her or nothing, but that was a start, okay? He was something like, I, I would, he was older than me, but he was like my little brother, if you know what I'm talking about. He was like my little brother. Like, I showed him a lot of things that he was never exposed to, you know? So, we finally planned this date, okay? So, we got on the bus. Then we got on the train, the, the L train, and rode on downtown, okay? When we got downtown, we went to the movies. We went to the Oriental Theater. I don't know how many of y'all remember the Oriental, but not, when I say the Oriental, you know how long ago this was, okay? The Oriental Theater, downtown Chicago. So we went, watched, I think they had three movies playing. So we watched the movies. We bought popcorn and everything like that. And we ate it. And we had a good time. We really had a good time. After the movie went off, don't ask me what movie we saw. I can't remember what movie. I don't know what was playing or nothing like that. But after the movie, we went out. And went to Ronnie's Steakhouse. Ronnie's Steakhouse. Which I don't know if it's still up. But that was a good. That was a, the go to place then. Okay. We went to Ronnie's Steakhouse. And we ate. We had a nice dinner. Like you know. And we, we got to talk to. Our other, other halves. And stuff like that. So. After. After that. We was walking to the train station. And I'm going to tell you, he did tell me his stomach was upset. He said his stomach hurt. So I said, ah, it's probably uh, whatever you ate or something, you know, probably that steak you ate or something like that. He said, yeah, you know, so we, we kept going. So we waited on the train for like maybe 40 minutes for some reason. But our train came and we jumped on it. Now I was clowning on the train, you know. I was making jokes and everything, you know, because I was real, I was super lively back in, in those days. I was super lively. So I was joking around and stuff like that, and everybody was laughing and stuff. But 
he wasn't laughing. So he kind of cracked a smile, but he wasn't laughing. Oh, cheese puffs. He wasn't laughing. So, as we were riding, he looked at me and he said, well, see, the seats were, it was two seats behind me, just like this. It was a seat here and a seat here. So, I looked back and he said, hey, man, uh, man, my stomach is hurting, man. <laughs> I said, oh, it'll be all good. It'll be all good. So he didn't say nothing else. But his girl that was sitting next to him was looking kind of funny, you know. So I started joking again. We up there laughing and everything like that. And then I kind of smelled something. So I kept saying, you know, man, what's what's that smell? You know, what's that smell? He said, I don't know. I don't know. And and his girl says she don't know. I said, okay. Maybe, you know, somebody did something on the, on the L or something. So we were riding, riding again, riding, riding. Then this train stopped all of a sudden. Something, I don't know if somebody threw something on the tracks or what. But the train stopped for about 30 not 30 minutes about maybe 15 minutes maybe 15 minutes so we were sitting there he was like so he stood up all of a sudden and i said what you doing man he said i gotta get off i gotta get off i said you can't get off here it's no no stop this is not a stop the train stopped but you can't get off on the tracks like that and we was on the elevated L, so we were up high, you know. And he's standing by the door, pacing back and forth. It didn't dawn on me that something was going to happen. It didn't dawn on me. So he kept he kept saying, "Man, I got to I got to get off. I got to get off." And I said, "What's wrong with you, man? You tripping?" Sit down, man. We 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 we'll be off at the next stop. We get off at the next stop. So he tried to go sit down. He went to sit down and stood back up again and, and went back over to the doors again. Like he gonna try to get off. I said, You can't get off, man. And I told his girlfriend, Hey, I'm sorry for I don't I don't know what's up with, with bro. He tripping. I'm sorry for it. She, and she, she wasn't paying no attention when I said that. But so I knew his date. He it was over. It was over then. So he was pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth. And I went up to him and I said, uh, "I'll call him uh, Sam. Sam." I said Sam, what's wrong with you, man? He said. Man, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. And, and then I said, what's wrong, man? And then all of a sudden, a smell wafted towards me. I, and it was nothing I could do. I, I don't know what I could have done in that situation. I tried to make him calm down, you know, sit down, but... Well, anyway, he did it. Yes. He did it. And we had to ride all the way to our stop. You know. So, and he stood up right there by the door the whole time. And he was, man, he was mad. He looked like he was mad. I would be mad too, you know, but. So I was trying to break the ice and stuff. I even sprayed some of my cologne, you know, sprayed some of my cologne. I think it was uh, chaps or something like that. 
jazz or, or chaps, you know. So I sprayed it for them, you know, just to spray it, you know. And I tried to offer to him, he wouldn't even look at me, you know, so. Then we rolled on down, then we got to our stop. When those doors opened on that train, I tell you, he took off, he ran, he ran. He wouldn't look at nobody, he ran. And I had to try to tell his girl, well, used to be girl. I said, man, he, he said stomach, his stomach got upset. He probably got food poison or something. You know, I'm trying to make up excuses and stuff. He would have, he didn't have food poison. He didn't have food poison. It wasn't food poison. So, the next day, see, this is what kind of friend I am. I wouldn't bring it every stuff back up unless he brought it up first so i went over to his house i said hey what's up man what's up sam what's up man he said nothing man i said what's wrong with you man what, what's up with you he said, he said nothing man nothing i said so i didn't say nothing about it but he said he said man dag man i had diarrhea and it was all messed up. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I tried to smooth it over with her, but I'll find you another one. Okay. So he said, man, thanks, man. Thanks, man. He said, what, what, what's up with us? He said, I said, man, I don't know what's, I haven't, I haven't heard from us since that day. But we had a good time. I told him, I said, we enjoyed ourselves, you know. You know, I hate for the night to end like that, but, you know, so. But, uh, I think, I don't think he never even talked to another girl. He never even tried to talk to another girl. But I heard now that he was married. He was married, so. Apparently he he ran into somebody, but he's divorced, you know, so he divorced now. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened to that brother, but he was a close friend of mine. And I brought him up. Even though he was older than me, he was like maybe a year or two older than me. I taught him the streets. I taught him the streets. But he had to do it. He did it. Yeah. And it was a sad case, but it was all in growing up, you know. It was all in growing up, you know. But we were teenagers, okay? So he wasn't a little baby or something. You had to change his diaper or nothing. You know, but it, it went it went down that night. Yep. But we did have a good time, you know. And I let him experience his first sort of a first date, you know. I wouldn't say he was a mark or nothing like that, but he was nerdy, kind of. He was the only one in our neighborhood who didn't have a nickname. Did he tried to name himself stuff, but nobody never called him that. They just called him by his name, Sam. So, I don't know. All right. What is... Bobby! Man, oh, get up. excuse me. Get up and go to the restroom, man. Excuse me. I'll be right back, man. I gotta go to the... What's wrong with go you? Go to the restroom. Sorry. Sorry, man. Get out of here. Close the door, man. Right. And turn that fan on. Goodness gracious. Okay, y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like.
and hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this experience. All right? Peace. Adios. Salamit. Cheers.